So what I find is limiting for most average golfers is not their technical skills so much. And that can happen, but really it's the lack of imagination. The majority of people, when I go out on the golf course with them, they just see one potential shot that they can play. The reality is there are many different shots that you can play from a variety of positions. The biggest problem is people don't actually see them for starters, and then they never practice them. So here's a classic point. This is a shot of about 20 yards. The green starts probably two thirds of that distance away. The green is sort of sloping left to right. Most people in this circumstance really only see a lob wedge and that takes a lot of skill. It's everyone can muck it up, but if you're only using a lob wedge from here, you're limiting your potential. So the purpose of this video is to show you that there are several options. So I'm going to play the lob wedge. This is not a video on me telling you the technical th ways of playing it. I'm just going to say, here's the shots we're going to play and I'm going to play it. If you want to know more about the technical side of how to hit a pitch shot, etc., there's plenty of videos that I've made on that subject. This is just, let's assume you can play those shots. Now we have to see what type of shot you can play, not so much how you play it. So I'm going to play a lob wedge here. It's a very firm lie. It's, yeah, it's not a great lie, but it's, I've had worse. But we're just going to try and get this to land left of the flag. So I've caught that a little bit heavy. It wasn't my best shot. That's a very poor shot, but I'm keeping it real. I don't profess that I'm an expert. I certainly don't practice. This is a shot that I've played. I have to suffer the consequences with. So that's one shot. So the other shot that I could do from here would be to use something like a nine iron. So there's a little bit of uneven ground, but it's not too bad here. So I could easily hit a nine iron and land it probably about a third of the way. So it's landing short of the green. So if I just play this shot, that landed just a fraction further than I wanted to but that has gone to about a foot. So if I hadn't have said that landed further than I wanted to, you'd all be saying, gee, that was a great shot, well done. I didn't quite do it the right way, but it gave me a better result than the lob wedge. So my lob wedge was a poor shot. Realistically, that was a poor shot, but I'm now in a better, in a better position. Now, that was an exceptional uh, shot for a poor shot, but the odds are a little bit more in your favor. So we've got the lob wedge, we've gone the nine iron. So I'm now going to use the seven iron. So I know it's downhill, I know it's left to right. All I've got to do is aim it out to the left here and I'm going to land this one shorter again and the loft of the club is going to make it roll. It may get a bad bounce somewhere, but that's okay. We're just trying to get it on. And if you can get down in three every time from here, that's okay. If you can get down in three two thirds of the time and then one third get down in two, that's pretty good. And you're gonna lower your score if you can do it. So I'm gonna use the seven iron, landing it just short of where that last one was, which is what I've done. And that two's rolled down. It's probably from here, it could be three feet, it could be five feet, it's hard to tell but it's, it's an acceptable shot. It gives me a chance to get the next one on. So there's three shots that I can play. Not that I'm recommending you do this, but just to try something different. And I love trying different things. No matter how silly you think the shot is, give it a go, you might learn something from it. So I could use a putter. There's a bit of thicker grass just here which I'm not 100% sure is, uh, how that's going to affect the ball. It's probably going to slow the ball down a bit, but there's nothing to stop me from putting it. I just aim it out to the left, get the ball rolling. And I've hit that a bit firm. So that's rolled on 
probably a flag stick and a half I'm gonna guess still I'm on the green I can two putt from there so that's just the example if you get out in the course and have a little bit of a play play those four shots and there'll be times when you think oh there's no way I can putt it the grass is too long that's a good reason not to putt it but if you just play around with the other shots you'll start to get a database of memories thinking you know that's not a that seven iron's not a bad shot or the nine iron I can play that whereas at the start you may not have even seen it so I really encourage you to get on the course get out out the back where no one's around and just put a few balls down and play different shots and if you can do that I know you're going to lower your score and if you really want to lower your score I'm going to link a video up the top there that I know is going to help you to lower your score